Greetings. Well, have you all had just about enough of uh, miraculous cinnamon rolls and craft from outer space? <laughs> well, I'm a return to one of my more popular subjects on YouTube. This one's always a hit. Two subjects at least that are definitely top of the list. One of them is dragon fruit, the other one's raspberries. Today it's dragon fruit. Now, we just passed by the first day of fall. It was September 21st. And that's when we have even days here. The sun's directly over the equator, and uh, the days in the northern hemisphere, or, uh, days and nights are about the same length. Uh, that is what triggers the yellow dragon fruit to come into flowering. Um, it starts a little ahead and it continues a little after the even days, but every year, twice a year, March and September, we experience this. They're called the equinox, and every year the dragon fruits decide that they're going to cut loose with a nice bloom. We're having a real good one here at the moment, and uh, so... I haven't got anything real, real important to say about dragon fruit, except you can expect this variety to bloom at the even days, and let's walk around and have a look at it. I've had several crops in my life that uh, are dear and near to my heart. Um, most of them have been berries. Um, they will all produce fruit within one or two years of having been put in the ground. Now, I've discovered a couple more crops here in Hawaii uh, that are similar to that. One's the dragon fruit. Um, the yellow dragon fruit is very fast, uh, usually less than two years. And another is the pineapple. Again, sometimes less than two years, but within, at least within two years it produces. Uh, this is what I'm looking for, you know. Uh, I, I mean, mangosteens are great, but waiting 25 years to get a piece of fruit off a tree is kind of ridiculous. As you can see here, I haven't given up on uh, berries. <laughs> There's blackberries right there hanging out in the dragon fruits. But, well, like right here, see, for instance, we got nice bloom. Here's bloom. There's bloom down there, bloom here, bloom there. These will all be opening in a few days. Um, and over here, we have bloom. Uh, looks like it's going to open today. Another one there. Come on this evening. That one was probably two nights ago. Here's some more of them over here. There's one over there. I mean, all in all, it's looking pretty good this year. It's going to be a nice crop. It's a little staggered. You see there's one down there on the ground. Uh, this half yellow already. And we have one right here that's hard green. And then that flower looks to me like it probably bloomed last night. Up here, the newest plantings are being good too. They've got some fruit hanging on them. They got flowers coming. Uh, got more over here. There's some more fruit. There's quite a bunch of flowers coming too. Uh, we don't have quite as much on these as I have on some of the older plants, but um, these were, I guess, put in uh, somewhere around July 2016. And so what do we got now? We're September. Uh, 2018. I mean, let's see what we got going on here. There's flowers down below. There's a whole bunch of flowers on the end over there. So, you know, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy. Yeah, so there's a peek at one of the most popular subjects I cover. So now I can go on back to boring you to death by trying to narrate that book I wrote years ago. <laughs> Aloha, happy gardening. And we got fresh dragon fruit seed too.